Hi everybody, this is Christina, the amputee OT. In this video, I will be showing you how I practice the stair and obstacle function on my Genium X3 prosthetic knee. The Genium X3 prosthetic knee has a function that allows users to go step over step up stairs and also to step over obstacles. But just like everything else related to being an above knee amputee, being able to use the stair and obstacle function functionally takes a lot of practice. In order to engage the stair and obstacle function, which from here on out I'll just call the stair function, you have to quickly extend your hip and then flex it, which causes the prosthetic knee to bend. Of course, this means that you must have sufficient hip flexion and extension strength and range of motion in order to trigger the function. Also, since the knee flexes behind you, it's a good idea to make sure there are no obstacles behind you that you might hit like your dog. After I practice triggering the function on level ground with no obstacles, I'm going to move to stepping over obstacles. As you can see, it usually takes me a couple of tries to trigger the function to the point where I'm not exactly expecting it to occur, and so I have to trigger it and then trigger it again to make sure I can actually go through the motion of stepping over the obstacle. There are much easier ways to step over an obstacle with an above knee prosthetic leg, and so obviously this way, if I'm not trained very well in doing it, is not very functional because instead of just using one of the other ways to step over an obstacle with a prosthetic leg, I'm sitting there trying to trigger this function a couple of times before I'm able to actually do it. Here's what it looks like when I'm stepping over an obstacle without using the stair function. Even though trying to trigger this function doesn't really look all that difficult, I don't have a whole lot of hip extensor and flexion strength, and so it's actually pretty exhausting to practice this. The more I get fatigued, the less I'm able to trigger the function. Okay, now on to stairs. I'm actually fairly good at going downstairs step over step, but going upstairs step over step is a lot more difficult. You still have to trigger the function, and then you have to use your hip extension to power yourself up the stair, which is really difficult because my hip extensors are pretty weak. As you can see, going upstairs step by step for me right now is not too functional because it takes me a couple of tries to trigger the stair function. My hope is that with continued practice, being able to trigger the stair function will occur more naturally, and then I can use the stair function to walk upstairs instead of one of the more traditional ways of walking upstairs as an above the knee amputee. But right now, it's obviously not particularly functional. As you can see from observing me using the stair function from behind, I also have an issue where when I go to step up, I'm using some circumduction in order to step up, 
And that is because that's a motion that I'm used to using, so it's kind of stuck in my muscle memory to use circumduction to get up to the next stair. Okay, that was a good one. I used the stair function for all three stairs. You might notice that it is a little bit easier for me to trigger the stair function when going upstairs versus triggering the obstacle function, which really it's the same thing when trying to go over an obstacle on flat ground. And part of the reason for that is that I am supporting myself with the handrail when I am going upstairs versus when I'm trying to traverse an obstacle over flat terrain, I'm not holding on to anything. Who would have thought that going up and down stairs would be so tiring? showing you this video is that in a few months or a year when I show you an update video I'll be much better at doing both of these movements. Okay that's all for now. Happy practicing. See you later. Bye!